everyone, my name is Jimmy Wong and welcome to Axis Magic Eldritch Moon. Today I am joined by head designer Mark Rosewater and we're going to recap the events of Shadows over Innistrad. So when we arrive back on Innistrad, things are not necessarily going to plan? Would that be the right way to put it? Well things on Innistrad are never really good, but uh, <laughs> they're particularly bad right now. So we've returned to Innistrad mm -hmm. and something strange is going on. There's a madness that is spreading throughout the land and all the denizens of the world are little by little getting madder and madder, including Avicen, the angel who was created to protect the land, she herself is going mad. And so what we're seeing is the Avicenian church is becoming more of an inquisition. There's strange and mysterious cults starting to form. Things are just getting really, really weird and bad. So when Jace comes to the plane, he has no idea what's happening. No, no, Jace is here to find Soren. He's only here for that one reason, and he finds himself in the middle of a mystery. Right. And we know that Jace, Jace loves a good mystery. He Jace, does. <laughs> Jace is all about solving problems. Jace doesn't like not knowing things. And so as soon as he finds a mystery, he's like, okay, I, I have to solve this mystery. What is going on? And the first mystery is Markov Manor, where Soren used to be, but now is a bit in disarray. Right. So he's trying to find Soren. He goes to Markov Manor, which is Soren's home. And there are vampires embedded in walls. I mean, it's something horrible has happened there. And so Jace finds Tamio's journal. And it's through Tamio's journal that Jace is able to start piecing together what happens and, in fact, find Tamio herself. Right. I mean, this is a mystery. Like, Magic has told a lot of different stories before. We're telling a mystery. Well, you have some pretty good detectives on the case. Jace, Tamio, obviously, is a great researcher. Mm -hmm. what, what's next for them? Where do they have to go to figure out what exactly is happening? Right. Well, they thought that Avicen was the cause of the madness, but she wasn't. You know, her going mad was the result of what was happening. In fact... She was the final protection for the plane. And when they unmake her, when they get rid of Avicen, they actually open up the door for something far, far worse. Ooh. Dun, dun, dun. And that leads us directly into Eldritch Moon. It does. Yes, Eldritch Moon, we finally learn who's behind the madness. And what we're gonna see is, through the gameplay, through the cards, the madness of Innistrad is only growing and growing. And we're gonna finally find out the cause of the madness. That must be exciting from a gameplay standpoint, right? Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> like, one of the things that's really neat is when you're building a set, when you're making the cards, you want to make sure that the gameplay matches the story, matches the feel of the world. And so we both had madness and we had mystery. Mm -hmm. so how do you capture both those things? Yeah. And in a really fun way, having a more in-depth and crazy fun story opens up some more design space for you, right? Oh, absolutely. Like, one of the things that happens now is we learn about the story during design, and, like, that's awesome. It's like, okay, I want, I want to design to this. And, mm -hmm. like, okay, everybody's going crazy. Avacyn's going crazy. But, like, woohoo, double face cards. <laughs> I, I got a design for you, you know. Yeah, that's super exciting. Well, I think players are going to be pretty excited to know what's going to happen next in Eldritch Moon. And everything's about to take a big turn for the worse, I feel. Ah, uh, things always get worse uh, before they get better. <laughs> Thank you, Mark, for joining me today on Access Magic. I'm Jimmy Wong, and we are so excited to bring you guys the world premiere of the Eldritch Moon trailer. Stick around for a word from your local community manager and a very special preview card. You fear the dark. But here, <laughs> it's inescapable. Remember where you are. This is Innistrad, where light only exists to cast shadow. Those shadows are twisting into threats so absolute, so relentless, that you'll have to keep fighting them just to survive. But survival is for the uninspired. Victory is for the strong. And the strong are willing to embrace the darkness. This is my domain. So fall in, soldier. As the true enemy rises. Darkness is your only hope. Thanks for watching Planeswalkers. I'm Dan, one of your community managers for Magic. Over the next three weeks, we're going to be showing you tons of awesome preview content for Eldritch Moon, including two more of these videos. In the next episode of Access Magic, we'll hear from Jeremy Jarvis and Jenna Helland, who are going to tell us what's going on on the plane of Innistrad. 
Before then though, don't forget to pre-register for the Eldritch Moon pre-release at a local game store near you. These events are taking place on July 16th and 17th. Now, we've seen the rise of Emrakul, but are you ready to see her card? Let's take a look.